And let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And folks, Basil has an outstanding show every trading day right here, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. Also, has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, the way you get the opening call, you come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go right under newsletters. You're going to see the opening call right there. You can test drive the opening call 30 days. Absolutely money back guarantee. Uh, bottom line is that you hit the opening call. And what you're going to see there, once you get the subscription, folks, the bottom line is that Basil has done many workshops. Those workshops are right inside there. You're going to be able to go over those workshops. You can get the opening call for one month for $128. You can get it for six months for $5.95, which is a savings of $173, or 22%. You can get it for a year for $9.95, which is a savings of $541, or 35%. And they all come with that 30-day money-back guarantee. Basil Chapman, what's going on? A little snow out here, Tom. A is little it? snow. Is it? So let's see. You guys, yeah, did it just start today? No, it started uh, Sunday night, went oh. all the way into Monday, and uh, Monday night. Okay. And we've got it uh, We've got it going uh, still a little bit. In fact, I was supposed to be the guest speaker at the Boston Investors Group, and in, uh, the, uh, this is the Boston Investors Group yes. and the Investors Business Daily Meetup tonight at MIT. And we had to postpone it. It's going to be next Tuesday, a week from tonight. That's wild. So, uh, I haven't heard yeah. of something like that in a long time. I've been down here a long time now. And I remember those so well. Cold, snowing, you know, you can't make it. And I mean, it's, the traffic is insane. Yeah. Oh, the, it was, it, it, different places had different things. Some places had rain. A lot of places had six or eight inches of snow in okay. there. A bunch last night. So it's wow. been a little hazardous. So in the meantime, it's a pity because that would have been an exciting uh, meeting because there were yeah. a lot of things going on right now. But anyway, next week will be fine, Tuesday night. So um, I just wanted to show you, we've got the Dow right here. Yeah. And, you know, I've spoken for quite some time and I've spent time on my show and certainly for my subscribers to my opening call. I've spent every uh, every time I get a chance, I show them this particular chart here and it shows you two moving averages. It's the nine period moving averages w w average, which is green when it's above the black one, which is the 14 period moving average. When it crosses under it, it turns pink and that's a negative sign. And uh, we were lucky with, uh, for my subscribers, we were able to uh, short a day before the uh, high that was made back in July. Uh, and we were able to short again uh, in September, it was about nine points off the uh, exact high. And then again, uh, we, we went short yesterday at the open. And the reason is, you see this green line, how long it took. It took 13 days before it broke, after the high was made, after it broke, and that nine-period moving average crossed negative. In the, that was the one that was going back to uh, July. And the one in September took 14 days before it crossed negative. And it looked as if it was impossible for this. And I said, it's either going to be lower lows and lower highs consistently over a couple of weeks, or it's just going to be six or 700 points that does it. Well, today we got that turned down, but it still hasn't crossed negative. But we went short yesterday to open about 80, 80 points off the all-time high. Um, so we get waiting to see. I think it's going to be a process. There was just so much negativity when yesterday uh, in the futures, there was an all-time high in the Dow, all-time high in the S&P, all-time high in the NASDAQ, and uh, by the evening, you had people talking about major, a major turndown. So I, I think that this is a turndown. I don't think yet it's a major turndown, but uh, we're, we're in the process of, uh, you know, looking at the short side. We've still got long positions. And we also went short uh, about a week and a half ago, went short the SMHs. And one of the reasons is that SMHs have been, they've really been a bellwether for the market all, for, for a few yes. years now. When they've right. gone to new highs, the market's gone. When they've gone to lows, the market's gone down. So we shorted about 133.22 on the, uh, the SMH as they're down to 129.23 today. It's a process here as well because in all the charts, the weekly charts are still very strong. So I don't want to get too carried away. It's, 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 it's just 
it's a developing uh, tidal turn, and it starts in the short term, which is the daily chart. We'll see if it impacts the weekly chart, but it, it's the process that we're really following. So subscribers have been going through this with me so that we all understand exactly what we're looking at. Can't get too carried away because, as I say, the, the weekly charts are still strong and the monthly charts have gone to all-time highs. So that's one of the things. And the other is that Bank of America, which have been long since December of last year, um, from 24 area, and we've had different positions, but we still have a core position. Hit 33.72 the other day, all-time high. Now it's consolidating. It has to do uh, probably with uh, the fact that yields uh, took a dive this morning, so Bank of America is pulling back a bit. Um, we've had some, you know, we've had some very nice positions. We have a, a stock called BDSLI. Uh, BDSI is a symbol. Uh, the stock is called Buy Delivery Sciences. We got in at five seventeen, five dollars seventeen cents in October, uh, middle of uh, October. And it's uh, we've taken some profits off, and and it hit seven dollars and one cent yesterday. So, so we took a little bit extra at the open today for about a 33 percent gain in that position. And the whole thing is that we use process. I talk about this cup and Chapman Wave cup and ladle breakout to peak D, where we went to the D in, in, in the weekly chart, and then it broke out above it. So um, these are this is a this is a series of chart formations that we like to follow. And uh, that's what we've been doing. You know, I spoke about uh, the fourth highest peak in the chat, my peak Ds, where you've got to be careful. We just did another peak D in the dollar. It's pulling back some. It's still holding sideways in the weekly chart, but that monthly chart also has a peak D. So I'm going to be watching this very closely. It's done very well since our entry. Uh, long position, April of 2018 at 90.07. It hit 99.99. Um, so I think it's consolidating, but I'm going to watch this closely between gold and the dollar and bonds. Uh, we're at a very critical period at this particular moment. Yeah, and you know it's interesting, Basil. The um, your, your nine-period exponential um, moving average there. That I yes. mean, th these things jumped that thing today. You know, which... yes, to the downside. Yeah, um, and, um... and that's that. You know. At the speed with which, you know, even the VIX index, the speed with where it's going, ho oh, harm, nothing to see here. Just three days ago, in the 12s, suddenly today it hits 17.99. Now it's at 15.78. That was just too quick. So I think this is all a process. There was a, there, there were many overbought stocks, and a lot of the high techs were overbought. And I'm watching this closely. I have an index. I call it an index. It's not really. It's just four stocks. It's called Cash. Sintas, which is overalls and uniforms, it's come off its high. It hasn't broken down, but it's way off its high of 277. Here at 255. So that's telling me something about a bit of a slowdown, maybe in one of the sectors. The other one is Amazon. And here it is, peak buying time. And Amazon is way off the 2050 all-time high at 1,768. One, 1, the other one is the SPY, which, as I say, just on the 27th hit uh, all-time high, 315.48. Now it's digesting the gains. And the other one is Home Depot. So even out of these four uh, stocks, Home Depot is down sharply. So I think this is a corrective process. You just got to be careful. Basil, thank you so much. Have a great one, a safe one. Of course, we look forward to the program tomorrow morning. Thank you very much, Tom. Thank Have a you. Great evening. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.